Hey there guys, it's Delta49er here with a tutorial on how to create a Minecraft server. The first thing you want to do is go into your web browser and go to minecraft.net slash download, which is linked in the description, and then find the multiplayer server section. Now inside that section, towards the bottom, is a link for the Minecraft server.jar, and you want to click that and save it on your desktop. Then go ahead and go to your desktop and right click, go to new, click folder, and name it Minecraft Server. Once you have the folder created, you can drag the Minecraft Server.jar into the Minecraft Server folder. And then you want to press the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard. And in the run command, you want to type notepad, N O T E P A D, and click OK. Then you want to go back into your web browser and towards the bottom again you will see that there is some code that says Java and it ends with no GUI and you want to copy that from Java to no GUI without the period. Then open up the notepad window and paste it in the document. Then you can go to File, Save As, go to your Minecraft server folder and then select save as file type all files and name it run.bat then click save and close the notepad window then go ahead and go to your desktop and double click your minecraft server folder and then you want to right click the minecraft server jar click rename and rename it to minecraft underscore server and then if there is an extension at the end that says .jar, leave the .jar extension at the end. Otherwise, just make sure it says Minecraft underscore server. Then you want to double click the run batch file. And this will create all of the files for your Minecraft server. Once it completely loads up, you will see that there are some files. But before we continue, we need to stop the server by typing stop and pressing enter and then opening up the EULA document you will see that there is a little uh, setting here and this just makes sure that you are agreeing by the EULA uh, this just is a warning so this is the Minecraft EULA and you can read it and uh, just make sure you agree to it and once you have read through it you can change the EULA equals to true and then go to file save and close the notepad window. Then run your server again and once it runs it will create all of the files. You will get some errors when it's creating the files because it doesn't have all the files but uh, once it does create them and you start it up again it will work completely fine. Then once it loads up completely and it says done you can type stop again. So now you can see we have a whole bunch of files. The first one is logs, and this is just a log of the command prompt, uh, what it posts in the command prompt. Next one is world, and this is the world file uh, for your server. Next is band IPs and band players, which is where your band IPs and players will be kept if you use the slash ban or slash ban IP command in the game. And then the EULA file that we just looked at, the Minecraft server jar, the ops file which is where your ops or operators will be held if you do slash op and then a player name it will be held in that file, the run.bat, the server.properties which holds all of the server properties. Uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of different settings and I will leave a link to the wiki which explains all of them in great detail uh, so you can change them accordingly. And then we have the user cache and the whitelist. And the whitelist is where your uh, players that, if you have the whitelist enabled, where the whitelisted players will be kept. And the user cache is just a uh, document with all of the users that have connected to your server. 
That's going to be the end of this video, but if you did find this helpful, a like and a share would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you do have any questions, you can leave those in the comments below. And if you're not already following me on Twitter, haven't liked the Facebook fan page, or not following me on Google+, those links are down in the description. And if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy gaming tutorials and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.